Good morning, everybody. We hope you enjoyed the day yesterday. I was absolutely struck by the authenticity and passion and impact that every speaker is making. And the presentations today are going to be no different. We have amazing speakers and content lined up for you. And so I hope you're ready for another phenomenal day. This morning, we are gonna be discussing health equity, diversity, and inclusion, and we'll be welcoming just amazing speakers to the stage um, to speak on the topic. And so first up though, we have an announcement for you from two of my colleagues at MADPOW about an important design and innovation challenge that we're putting together. MADPOW's Center for Health Experience Design has organized many collaborative research projects and design and innovation challenges over the years, from making medical bills easier to understand, to reimagining the systems that affect our lives, so that health is the default as opposed to sickness. We talked about that a lot yesterday. And we also looked at redesigning conversations between patients and doctors. So some really interesting design challenges and we're gearing up for another one. We're excited to announce the area of focus for our next design challenge. So I'm so happy to welcome to the HXD stage, Nadret Sahin and Megan Campos. Hi, I'm Nadret. And I'm Megan, and we are excited to introduce you to this year's design challenge. So over the last several years, MADPOW has launched a series of design challenges in an effort to create interventions that address some of society's most complex issues. This year, our design challenge is focused on working with a coalition of partners to address the disproportionately low rate of COVID-19 vaccination amongst black and brown communities across the country. The focus of this year's challenge comes from the recognition that the distribution of COVID-19 vaccines has been largely inequitable between white people and black and brown communities across the country. As an example, the vaccination rate amongst white people was more than twice as high as the rate for Hispanic and Latino people and nearly twice as high as the rate for black people. We started to think about how to address this in the context of a design challenge by coming up with a series of draft how might we statements. A critical consideration was making sure the onus was on structures and organizations and not on the communities themselves. After researching the issue, we landed on access and trust as the two biggest barriers to equitable vaccine distribution, but we recognize that these issues are complex and may require further refinement. Right now, our how might we statements are, how might we improve access to COVID vaccination sites for black and brown communities? How might we increase the level of trust in vaccine providers with black and brown communities? And how might healthcare organizations support members of black and brown communities to increase and sustain their rate of COVID vaccination? We want you to join us in this effort. We are building a coalition that is inclusive of community leaders and organizers, health institutions, and government partners to address the rate of COVID vaccination in black and brown communities. Whether you're an individual or a team, we want you to join us. We are honored to announce Grapevine Health as our first collaborator. Grapevine Health is a DC-based organization working to improve health literacy and patient engagement through storytelling, technology, and feet on the street. There are three ways you can join us in this effort. A contributor is an individual or a team with relevant experience, so think design, strategy, research, or healthcare, who want to find interventions. A sponsor is an organization with the interest in and ability to support the effort financially. And a partner is an organization that is part of an impacted community and is interested in using the outcomes of the challenge to address the issue. We want to conclude by recognizing that while MADPAL has lots of experience working with partners across the health ecosystem, race and health equity are not our areas of expertise. We've structured this design challenge with the goal of taking a back seat and serving as a convener and a facilitator to enable subject matter experts and community members to take the lead. We believe this challenge should involve the voices and leadership of members of the communities impacted, most impacted by the pandemic. 
If you're interested in participating in the challenge, let us know. We welcome your ideas, insights, and skills. Join us by reaching out to health equity challenge at madpow.com. We look forward to working with you. Thank you so much, Nedred and Megan. And please stay tuned, everybody, for more details as we launch the challenge in the coming weeks. In fact, we just got word from the city of Boston Center for Urban Mechanics that they will be collaborators as well. And we're hoping that many of you can participate as a partner or as a, a designer and innovator change maker in the challenge. <laughs>